Yes, I feel for you parents. I know that with this homeschooling thing, it's got to be chaotic. Oh my gosh, boys, come on, get it. Oh, get there. Let's go this way. Go this way. Get quit it. Go. Point taken. All right, so I'm going to make this easy for you. Instead of me explaining it in a real long email, I thought I would just make a video here. So I want to thank the Yendricks for being so kind as to act it out for us. And so first thing you're going to do is with this email, or you're going to get it soon, is that is attachment that has the actual quiz. And you're going to give the quiz, but don't worry, it's going to be easy. All right? And so also you're going to need to pick up the papers that when they're ready to take the quiz, the worksheets. There should be seven of them. And they have flashcards. Now I give credit for them doing flashcards because flashcards really help them to remember not only to write them out but if they use it properly to study from. And so now here's a clip of me using flashcards. Who came in power in 1933? Hitler. Oh yeah, I know that one. Hello. This is how I passed college. I made flashcards. I have two piles. The I know, don't need to study those anymore. And the I don't know, I need to study those. So, in the morning, that's what I tell my students when they're eating their Fruit Loops, and today I'm eating healthy Apple Jacks. I said, do your flashcards. Good time to study. So, that's why I give extra credit points for flashcards. What color is Father's Red Cuda? Green, red, <sighs> always get that one wrong. All right, that is how you're supposed to properly use your flashcards. Now, once your student is all done studying everything, then it's time to take the quiz. So first, we're gonna model for you that good student, and this is what it should look like. Mara, time to take your quiz. Here's my worksheets. Thank you. My flashcards. Thank you. And my phone. Thank you, Mara. Okay. Nate. Okay, but Dad does not need to sit here, or Mom, as far as that goes. Dad can go and watch football on TV if he wants to, but there's no football. So, Dad doesn't have to be here because good student will just sit there and take the quiz. Thanks, Mara. I think I'm going to take a nap. But not a nap. No, not a nap, but at least be somewhere around while they take the quiz. And then later I'll show you what to do with the quiz when it's done. All right, that was good. But now we're going to have the not-so-model student and give another demonstration. Please watch. Jude, time for your quiz. All right. Okay. Worksheet? Did you study the worksheet? Yeah, a little bit. Did you study the worksheet? A little bit. Melissa? Yeah? Did he study the worksheet when I was gone? Well, I didn't see him doing a whole lot of anything. Oh. How about the flashcards? Do you have the flashcards? Yeah. Did you yeah, study the flashcards? My father was so explicit about those flashcards and how helpful they would be. Did you? Mm -hmm. How much time did you spend on them? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. How about, how about your cell phone? Remember, the cell phone is the number one cheating instrument. Pay attention. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. This is yeah. serious. Get it? You have a pen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dude. This is your quiz. Alright. Mom, can I borrow your phone? Why, why do you need my phone? I can't find mine. Oh, let me just ring it for you. Hold on. Just a second. Let's find it. Well, there it is. What? Oh my dude! You have Mara's over. phone? Thank you. Okay. There is your example of the not so model student. But now that all the phones are gone and that dad has all the paper, dad can still and mom can go to another room or the same room and do their thing, watch TV, whatever. And so and Jude here will be taking the quiz. Happily. Me? But I have something to add. We do, we're a little lenient here. So, what if your student is taking it and all of a sudden finds out that he didn't study long enough? 
it's okay for them to have one time out. So let's see if this student wants a time out. Time out. <laughs> what do you need, Jude? Uh, I need I need just a little bit more study time. I can't remember this Nietzsche joke. I got to Okay. Well, you remember yeah. father said you get one, one yeah, time out. One time out. Okay. Yeah. Here's your study stuff. Make uh, sure you study. And we'll I'm be gonna, back here to take the quiz later. I'm going to try and find the Nietzsche joke. Okay. Okay, so it's okay to have that one time out, give them another chance. The other thing I also might add is that you don't have to be overly, well, you should be concerned now, overly concerned because if this student doesn't pass, he is allowed to retake it. The, the goal, of course, is that not, is not necessary, but just keep that in mind. So you can have the one time out, study, and then finish up the quiz. Okay, now what do you do after the quiz and everything is done? First of all, I want all seven of the worksheets, okay? And so we're going to grade those yet. So take those, and hopefully you have an envelope, and it's something like this, and don't worry, you'll get it back, or eventually I'll have, give you a new one. But you'll take an envelope, and you'll put the, um, all the quizzes in it. Then you'll put the quiz itself, in the same envelope, and then you'll put the flashcards if you have them in there. And then what do you do with it? Then you put it, it's not built yet, but this is going to be right by the entranceway to the new gym, and it's going to be there hopefully by the time you read, hear this video. And uh, that's where you'll put it. You'll put it right in the slot here. And then if you don't have a printer, the next worksheets will be over in this box down here. Or even if you have a printer and you just don't want to uh, use your ink, there'll be extra copies in here. So you'll not only be able to drop them off, but pick up the stuff they need for the next section. So the, the quiz day is Tuesday, anytime Tuesday. Wednesday is when I hope to start getting all this stuff back. Now, if you're locked in and know we're not going anywhere, just let me know and I'll stop by myself or get a volunteer courier. We'll let you know and we'll come pick it up. Hopefully, most of you will be able to drop it off and then pick up the other stuff. And so, my goal is that this will all be there by Wednesday because Tuesday will be the quiz day. So, I hope there's enough information. And I thank you, and God bless you, and good luck.